we're making art. Choreography is at the heart of this company. Uh, this is contemporary dance. It's not classical ballet. We can go down the road and buy a video of something that was made up a hundred years ago and then come back and copy it. With contemporary dance, you've got to make up the whole lot yourself. Being a choreographer is not easy. It requires you to understand a great mesh of different things. First of all, they understand dancing, but do they understand how to get someone else to dance very well in their work? Uh, can they talk to a designer? Do they know how to speak to the stage crew? These are all learning curves. Um, are they able to take themselves out of it and sit there as if they were an audience member watching their work? show my work in the South Bank or at the Opera House is amazing. So it's just a great opportunity and I've, I've been really lucky as well because I've been um, collaborating with different musicians, uh, with different composers and musicians and set designers. Dancing is a completely different expertise from choreography. Most great choreographers in the world are triggered by music. If the music is there, you have to sort of have um, build a relationship with it. You can't just avoid it because it's very powerful. That's the first thing you hear, and it's stronger than, than what you see, really. When I hear music, I see movement, and I feel it in my body. So uh, music, in this company especially, plays a great big part. These dancers at Rombe are trained in classical ballet and in contemporary dance, so they have very strong torsos. Uh, from the contemporary dance training and they have a, uh, you know, all the geometry and punch off the floor that you get from classical ballet. And when you mix those two things together, you can, you can get some an incredible power, incredible force, uh, incredible emotional force actually. So uh, they are great tools uh, for young choreographers. A choreographer is like here and a dancer is here. These guys are looking at dancers. These guys are delivering it. I'm going to do something differently to what John is going to do. Mm. I think it's a bit like speaking. Everybody ha uses the same language, but you have a way of speaking, you have a way of phrasing something. So as a dancer, the more, I suppose like an actor, the more you learn how to do that, you start to sort of identify how you speak. I think successful choreographers discover in them a way of moving that is particular to them that only they can do and they understand. Once you've got that, you can, in a way, put that in almost any context. I've always been really, like, concentrated on dancing because it's really important to first get the dancing down, you know, to, um, to really get the most out of it so that when you're choreographing, you can really transfer what you've learned as a dancer and experienced instead of not really having a firm grasp of movement styles. There's a huge difference between good and brilliant, and I want it to be brilliant. I think a lot of people can do good. A lot of people uh, can do good very well. But that other end, that special leap, that special uh, place where you need to be to make it in this competitive field is very difficult to achieve. I'm looking for choreographers who really are choreographers deep down. I always love to dance, but create is it's a beautiful thing because it's, it's something that should be new or something fresh and it's, it's a need that I, I have. I really think we need to get the next generation of choreographers happening. You know, one, because this company needs two, because the sector needs them. Um, and it's going to make our... It's like having a business and you're looking for your new products and services. This uh, choreographic workshop that, that we are involved in at the moment is, for me, the beginning of a three-year process. We've had this amazing, the Esme Fairbairn Foundation give us this money to do this. This programme is probably the only programme like this in the world. I really have to make some tough decisions, so we absolutely see we can develop these people properly. After these three years, we will have one or two, if we're lucky, choreographers who are, I absolutely believe in and who I'll put uh, my back and my heart and soul into. Mainly I'm looking for great ideas. I know if it's a great idea the audience are going to latch onto it and it's going to be able to communicate something. Um, I'm looking for a, a way that I can see that artist actually grow and develop. The new building is, is really going to be uh, this amazing choreographic centre uh, of excellence.